Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It is hashtag Friday Sews. Friday Sews is a, a format or a hashtag, I guess, that um, many sewers uh, follow, where we talk about things that we've made over the last week, things that we're gonna make, and a little bit about life. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about today are the two things that I've made over the last week. The first thing I made was during a Zoom call that Mari from Mari Sews hosted, and it's part of her Project Dress a Girl um, event that she is hosting throughout the month of September. Um, I will link to Mari's channel below, um, especially her intro video for Project Dress a Girl. Um, I would love to inspire you to get involved in this event. I think it's a really great cause and Mari will tell you more about it. Um, anyway, so she hosted this Zoom call. It was full of very lovely ladies, um, some of who I've interacted with in, um, uh, co in the comment section of my videos and others I follow and others were new to me and it was lovely to meet them all. And so we talked a little bit about sewing, we talked a little bit about life and it was fun. So I think she's got two more Zoom calls scheduled. I will link her blog down below because that's where you will find the schedule kind of events. You will see all the um, vloggers that are participating in Project Dress a Girl through their YouTube channels and you will also see the um, schedule for the Zoom calls. And I think she's got the um, link there or tells you how to sign up for the Zoom call. All right, so during the Zoom call, I was able to get cut and sewn about 95% of the way my second Project Dress a Girl dress. And um, after the call was over, I was able to finish the only th things that I had left. And that I think maybe took me 30 minutes. So all in all, this whole dress took about two and a half hours. And um, I'm gonna show you a picture here, but I'm not gonna get into detail of it because my um, blog post for Project Jessica Girl is tomorrow, Saturday the 18th. So I hope that you will join me for that. Um, and yeah, so that was the first thing that I made. The second thing that I made this week was my ice dyed Cali dress shirt, which I'm really excited about. I think I had told you guys that um, when I showed my husband my Molly jacket, the reversible jacket where one side was some of my tie-dye fabric, my husband had suggested that maybe I would want to wear some of my tie-dye to his class reunion, which is this weekend, which is why we're traveling, which is why I'm in a new location. <laughs> I'll get into more of that uh, during the life section of the video. So um, I was like, okay, well, I had already, um, you know, this tie-dye dress. Um, and I had my tie-dye jacket, I had some tie-dye pants that I wasn't gonna wear. Um, and I thought, you know, I had this tie-dye fabric, it's, uh, I had ice dyed some linen during my um, dye along with me um, video that I did in August. I will link to that video here in the cards. But basically I walked you through what my process is for dyeing, ice dyeing. And um, this is the fabric that came out of that video. And it's really like fun, like yellow and hot pink and blues and which I didn't use any blue, by the way. I'm pretty sure that the blue came from the orchid that was um, used in the dyeing process. So it, um, there's some uh, bright green in there. So there's some really fun colors. So I decided that I wanted to dress with sleeves I've been wanting to make the Cali dress shirt. So I just put those two together and thought it would be a good combination. And so I started on the dress, um, I think on Monday, um, because I needed, I might've actually started it Sunday night after I finished the other dress, because I knew I needed to finish it by Wednesday night because we were flying out of town Thursday. So I worked on it. Um, I did have a couple of hiccups along the way. Um, and I will do a full review on the Cali dress coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna, it'll be one of my vlog timber videos. So if you're interested in that, then keep an eye out on this channel for that. And um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I got it all sewn all the way through the buttonholes by Wednesday night. The only thing that I had left to do was sew the buttons on. 
and um, I decided that I would bring that with me and it was something that I could do in the airport or in the hotel or, or wherever. So um, that's what I did this morning. Uh, we flew out of Fort Lauderdale this morning about nine o'clock, I think. And I had the dress and my buttons and my thread and my needle in my carry-on. And so while we were sitting it at the gate waiting to board, I decided to sew my buttons on. So I had three different color buttons. They all worked perfectly with the dress. I could not for the life of me decide which color to use. So I used them all. <laughs> I just alternated them uh, one after the other, you know, and repeated that. And I'm happy with the way it came out. My husband thinks it's too busy. I'm a more is more kind of a person if you haven't figured that out yet. And I like it. Now, the thing is, if I decide I don't like it down the road somewhere, I've got plenty of buttons for each of the colors that I could easily just snip the buttons off and replace them all with one color. But right now I think it looks cute. So I'm gonna insert a picture of me wearing the dress here. Um, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the pattern or you know where I struggled, but in the end it all worked out and I love the dress. So um, yeah. So that's the second and final thing that I've made this week. Um, and I don't think I will be making anything else. Obviously I am uh, not home, so I don't have my sewing machine. So um, I won't be sewing anything else. Um, what do I have planned coming up? Well, I am I am out of town from today. I'm filming today on, the, on Thursday the 16th. And we left town today. We won't be back home until the 26th. So I won't have my sewing machine. So I won't be sewing anything, but I can't not have a project to do now that I've made craft projects part of my everyday life. Um, I get too much joy out of it. And I would, I mean, even though we're gonna be busy and, um, traveling and um, we've got some fun things planned. I still felt like I wanted something to work on. So I packed my, one of my project bags. I love this one. I bought this one at a yarn shop in Baltimore a couple of years ago. Isn't that beautiful? It's a tapestry. I don't know if you can see the texture there. It's so gorgeous. Um, anyway, so I, um, I packed my project bag and I downloaded a pattern I've already bought it and so I printed it uh, I didn't print it out my printer was out of ink so I'm gonna have to follow the instructions on my computer which I don't love I really like having a piece of paper for a knit project so that I can check things off <sighs> maybe the business center here will um, maybe I can use the printer here actually that's a good idea I'll do that all right so I'm going to show you the yarn that I'm using for my pattern um, maybe Okay, so the pattern is called uh, Briochalicious. Briochalicious. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Um, and it's by um, Drea Renee Nitz, who is um, Andrea Mallory. And I love, uh, she's got a, a vlog cast, podcast, whatever, on Fridays. And I love watching her. She's adorable. And um, her patterns are really cute. I've never knit any of her patterns before because they're a little advanced for my skill set but I figure this one is a good one it's supposed to be a good one for when you're learning brioche and it's a two color brioche knit and it alternates pan sections of garter stitch and brioche two color brioche so um I think I can I think I can make that work so it calls for um I want to say 760 yards of the main color and I'm going to use this. I'm sorry about the lighting here. I don't know if that's helpful. Um, so this yarn is like a lavender. It's a variegated lavender purpley. Um, it might look blue in the monitor, but trust me, it's like a, this is not helping. It's a, it's a lavender and purple kind of variegated thread. And I have enough of this for the main color. And then you've got um, three uh, contrast colors to work in to the two color brioche with the main color. So the main color will be the garter sections. And then the brioche sections will be the main color plus a contrast color. So I'll hold each of these up with one of the skeins of the um, main color. 
So this main color is um, from Shalimar Yarns and it's called Love and Happiness. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I got this when I was a member of a yarn, a monthly yarn club um, that I canceled a long time ago. I'm pretty sure that's where I got this. Um, so this is the main color. Gosh, I don't know what to do with the lighting. This is the main color. And then this is the contrast color number one. I think those two look really good together. This is kind of a royal blue. And even though this is, you know, lavender and purples, I just think it kind of highlights the blue in the purple. So that's contrast color number one. Um, and then I have this yarn, which also came in my yarn subscription box at one point. And this is called, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Um, this one, is Toby Roxanne um, yarn. And these are all fingering weights, by the way. Um, and this one is called City Night. This is my second contrast color. This is called, this is from Darn Good Yarn. And it's a, um, it's a silk yarn and it's called Caribbean Current. And it's this variegated like like a sea green maybe and it's got these pops of like orchid orchidy purple and some pur bluey purples in there so I feel like that will also go well with this main color and then my final contrast color is this really vibrant purple um, dark orchid I don't know what would you call that color it um, it comes I think this is Russian, so I can't really read the label. Um, but again, I just, I thought that was a good contrast color. Um, and I think all of these together are gonna make a really beautiful shawl. So that's what I'm gonna start working on. I have no idea how long this is gonna take me because I've never done brioche before and I don't know if I can. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how much it frustrates me or if I take to it. Um, and that is my next project um, since I won't be able to sew for quite some time now. All right, so then uh, the next thing to talk about is life. And I have two things to talk to you about. The first one is my travels. So we, like I said, we left town today on the 16th. We're not going home till the 26th. What are we doing that whole time? So from Thursday through Sunday morning, we're going to be in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for my husband's reunion. Then on Sunday, we're driving down to Baltimore and staying with one of his sisters. And we have season tickets to the Ravens because we used to live close enough where that was doable. And PSLs, we got a really good deal on our PSL and we are really hesitant to sell that. So, um, I think my husband's selling the tickets when he can, and then if we can make it here for a game, then we will. So we're here for the Kansas City game, which was going to be a really good game until two of our um, really strong players got injured. And so now we're not so sure how it's gonna go, but still hopeful. So we're excited to go to the game. We haven't been to one, obviously, in well over a year. Um, and let's see, then, we're staying in Baltimore through Monday and celebrating one of his sister's birthdays, Monday night. And then Tuesday, we are driving to Trenton, New Jersey and getting on a train and going up to New York City. And we're gonna be in New York for three days. We have tickets to see Devo, which is one of my, my husband is was big into, um, you know, all, he was in, he was into all kinds of music because he was a DJ at his college. He's just always been into music, even before he went to college. It's like, he likes all genres. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have like a favorite. And, um, you know, he was big into the punk scene, um, during the eighties. So, um, when we saw that Devo was going to be in New York while we were already going to be here, we're like, why, why not just add a couple of days and go up to New York? So that's what we did. And so since we're already going to be in New York, we're also going to see a Broadway show because that's something that we used to love to do um, when we lived in Philly and we did it on a fairly regular basis. We would go to New York and see a show. So I'm really excited 
about that um, because I haven't seen one in, in so, so long. We are going to see Six, which is a musical about Henry VIII's six wives. Um, my husband's already listened to the soundtrack and said that it sounded pretty good. So we're, you know, it should be fun. Um, and it's gotten good reviews so far. So that'll, that'll be a good night. And then we're coming back to Philly and we're going to spend our last few days in Philly visiting with my stepdaughters and going to lunch and doing an escape room and just having a little bit of fun. So very, very busy week plus a few days um, before we get back home. So that's that part. And then the last thing that I have to share with you guys, I was in the Philly airport. So we landed in Philly right around noon. And as soon as we got off the plane, I had to rush to the ladies room. You know, it was a two hour flight. I'd, I've been drinking a lot of water. So I, I went to the restroom. On my way out of the restroom, a woman comes up to me. She's like, hi, Michelle. And I was like, I, I'm in Philly. I've lived, I lived in Philly for 20 years. So I'm like, oh, poop. I don't recognize her. And I think she saw the look in my face and she goes, oh, no, 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 you don't know me. <laughs> And, and I was like, uh, okay. And she said, I watch your channel. I was, what? I was so flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it. Um, she was the nicest lady. She said, I saw you walking down the hallway and I said to my husband, you know those channels that I watch about sewing on YouTube? That's one of the ladies that I watch. And he encouraged her to come and talk to me, which I'm so glad that he did. And I... I regret that I didn't talk to her longer because I was just so shocked. Like I couldn't believe somebody recognized me. And we were both wearing masks because the airport, um, it's mandated that you wear a mask. It's a federal mandate. So I was wearing my tie dye dress and I had my knit shawl on. So I'm assuming she recognized me because of what I was wearing because you couldn't see my face. I was like that. Um, and so I, I was like, asked her what her name was. Her name is Cheryl. So Cheryl, hi. Um, I know that she told me that she doesn't comment, but she watches. And um, I just want to tell you, Cheryl, it was lovely to meet you. And I'm so sorry that I didn't talk to you longer. I was like so shell-shocked. Um, and my husband was like, well, is she coming or going? I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even think to ask her that. So um, Cheryl, thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. I really appreciated it. And um, it was so lovely to meet you. You were so nice. Um, anyway, an aside, I just had to share that because it just made my day. I've been like happy all day just because that was, I thought that was so sweet. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I never expected anything like that to happen. So it was a lot of fun. Anyway, that's all I have to share this week. Um, I hope that wherever you are, the weather is amazing and that you're able to get some sewing in, unlike me. And I really appreciate you joining me. Thanks so much. Bye.